What do you think would happen if right now every mathematician dropped their research and went out into the real world to try and solve some of the world's most pressing problems instead of, say, trying to improve some wacky bound on some random graph? <laughs> okay, well that's a bit crude. But often I find myself deep into a session with Hatcher and I'll catch myself and stop and think really hard about this question. You see, I've read a lot of books. And these books have filled my mind with ideas. And recently the potential of one of these ideas for actually doing something in the real world was screaming at me and became too strong of a signal to ignore. And the fairy tale in my mind was to somehow use this idea to train an auto formal prover, competing with Silicon Valley companies that have raised hundreds of millions of dollars to do this. Yeah, this was a ridiculously ambitious and delusional goal, but that signal coming from the pure mass was becoming too strong to ignore. So I rolled the dice and what followed was one hell of a relentless, slightly torturous journey. But one of the best parts about this journey is that it shows that pure mathematicians can play a big role in helping tidy up the mess that I feel is machine learning. With that said, let's go back to where this all started, in the beautiful Bologna in Italy. Okay, so this is really crazy. Probably no one will ever see this, but you never know. I think it would make a good video as well. Uh, anyways, let me give you some context. So I'm currently in Italy for a formalization conference. Unfortunately, I've been quite ill with the flu. What I have attended, like my brain has been pretty funky. As a result of that, I've had some interesting ideas when I was listening to one of the talks. So what actually was that crazy idea that I mentioned there? Well, just before that conference, I'd watched a number file video that came out recently, and it was about the graph reconstruction conjecture. And it's one of those things in maths which, because it's so simple to state, it's interesting that it's still open and unsolved. And so it caught my interest, and I went down the rabbit hole. Now, if you've been here before, you'll likely know that I'm interested in what algebraic topology can do outside of my course at uni and in the real world. And so where this rabbit hole took me was to something called graph magnetic cohomology and intuitively straight away it felt like this could have a lot to do with the reconstruction conjecture and here's why there's one main paper about it online and the big result is that the graph magnitude cohomology ring completely determines the graph up to isomorphism so if you can understand this ring then you know everything about the graph that you want to know in this setting okay but what has any of this got to do with proofs and building a proof system well for writing a formal proof you can treat the proof state as a directed graph where nodes are joined by edges showing dependencies, types, etc. Everything you want to know about the proof is in this graph. And so to understand this graph, you just need to understand this ring. And in this paper, there are a couple of other really nice results that in this proof setting make it really quite simple to condense down all the information you need about this ring into just a few numbers. For all this complex graph representing a proof state, you can encode it in just a few numbers which aren't that computationally demanding to find out. And then these act as a fingerprint for that graph or a feature vector. And then this is where machine learning comes in. So at this point, it was time to take a big swing and put my money where my ideas were. <sighs> It's done. And it's awesome. Very quickly, it was clear that using these features that I thought about led to a very strong understanding of the geometry of the space of proofs. And it's really capable. It's so good. Way beyond my expectations. I'll put out more technical details and theory about it all so that people who know a lot more about this than me or who have a lot larger budgets for compute can continue developing this. But obviously what would be awesome if it could prove a still open result like one of the ones down the tail of the Erdash problems. But my guess would be that the big companies have these running in the background all the time trying to find proofs of these sort of things because you know it's great marketing but it's not cheap to do that so it's in the formalization system for the tutor on map hub now and it will be gradually rolled out to more and more users over the next few days but something really important that i want to touch on is i mentioned how i think that machine learning feels like a mess there's obviously a big issue of interpretability why does it work so well and when i was learning more about it a lot of it feels really similar in some sense but it's very disconnected because it's just people sort of trying things doesn't work try something Something different eventually you get some results and in some sense that's good because it makes it easy for anyone to just come in and try things right and it's exactly what i've done here but it is something which is inevitably changing our future irreversibly and i think there's a lot of potential for pure mathematicians to help understand 
try and build a unifying framework. For example, I've mentioned before categorical deep learning. It's growing more and more and more. So I really encourage you, if you're pure math inclined, to just dip your toe in this, because I learned so much interesting maths doing this journey. Like category theory, sheaves. So there's a lot to dig your teeth into. Oh, and another exciting announcement. Our first math arena is going live next week. It's sponsored by Hudson River Trading. You take 10 questions to calibrate your current understanding. Our systems use things like entropy decay to hone in, and then you train, and then you compete, and there'll be prizes as well. So you can register for that now on Math Hub, starting next week. See you there. Oh, that was quite the journey. I guess it's time to get back to my degree now. Maybe.